hi everybody and welcome back to my channel i just thought as the description says i'll bring you my empties and what i've decided this year to do is keep a track of my empties and see how much money i actually spend for next this year for next year for this year so starting from this empties not the one i put out in december this empties and i'm not going to include my project plan from last year so yeah i just thought that this way we'll see how much money i am wasting <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean wasting in a nasty word but yeah because I've got makeup that I don't like and I'm throwing away I've got products that I don't like and I'm throwing away so technically yeah it will be a lot of what I'm throwing away everything like that what I've used up So before I go into this, I would love to say, can you, if you're new to this channel, would love you to hit the subscribe button. And not only that, can you tap the bell and let you know when I bring another video out. And also guys, if you would, wouldn't mind helping me, tapping it, giving it a thumbs up, and also leaving comments down below. First of all, I'm going to start off with toothpaste because the case of I am going to use up two or three at a time because I never use just one toothpaste. To start off with I've got the, this is just the sense down one rip here. I'm not a keen fan on this, I've used it because I bought it, I didn't realise it was the one that I don't like. But for me, it was toothpaste and it stopped my teeth from hurting because mine was slightly sensitive. This is a sensitive that I like and this is the Pro, Enam Pro, yeah, Pro Enamel and this is with the green lid on. I don't need any backups of this, I've got it. This is brilliant, good for your teeth. If you're sensitive before hot and cold, it's brilliant for that. This is the white glow, which this is the one that I use in conjunction with Sensodyne. So that's why I say this one is going to take longer than them they are. Because I use them more than just these, like, sporadically. Yes, great for whitening your teeth. It doesn't whiten them, whiten them. They just make them look slightly bit better. Even though I brush with teeth twice a day. This even if i use i can't you can't use this twice a day every day that's where they have to come into play so i never get if you've got normal teeth i'm never going to get the full effect of the whiteness but it does take a lot of my um tea stains down because i do drink a lot of tea smell it now this is the brute anti-perspirant 48 hour protection I got this for nostalgia reasons when I used to work, working in a factory when I was a, a young girl and I'll tell you what, don't smell anything like it used to um, and it's not 48 hour um, at all but it's still a nice smell, it's still a nice deodorant and no, it's not for a man, it was for me, I wanted it because when when I was a little girl this was all the rage in our factory yeah that's why i bought it but it's not as brilliant as what i thought it was the next one is the nivea invisible for black and white this is the one that you put on to your can't do it because it hurts me because it's at the edge again i've got backups of these so the next thing is guys this Fruits Rhubarb and Vanilla Fragrance Explosive Body Scrub. This is brilliant for my legs. If you want it for ex a lot of exfoliation, you, this is no good. But because I have got burns on my legs, I have to use something a little less harsh. So I've been using this. 
and it's brilliant I've used one of my Footwork Sweet Vanilla Exfoliating Scrub with brown sugar as you know these are always going to be in there this is amazing any of the uh, exfoliating scrubs any of them I've had quite a few of them now I've had the pineapple I've had this one I've had a blue one anything with exfoliating in I grab so brilliant this is the Avon Nail Expert Liquid Freeze Quick Dry Nail Spray now what I'd do is I'd paint my nails um, obviously in between all the other dries you can't use this because it's got some it's got like an oil in it or something when you go to put another layer on unless you're gonna do it a day the next day but with this this is the it's like quick dry and seriously after you've done your top coat sit for three or four minutes and then I just saturate them just saturate each nail and I go in the bathroom wash my hands off and it's done They're like, and I don't know what's in them and it's not like when you put your fingers in a ice, ice bath and then pull them out and go like that and you can wipe them off I don't know what, how it does it I've used one of my L'Oreal Age Perfect Golden Age now I used to use this was for the one in the first picture I used to put this on it smells gorgeous I used to sit inside my bed after I put everything else on and before I went to sleep I'd just not get an handful but get some of this put it on my face and I'd wake up like baby's bum so yeah would have repurchased this not at the minute because I'm doing the project panel with testers this is the antibacterial mouthwash obviously mouthwash we've both had my daughter I have her tooth out and I've actually taken a massive chunk out of mine so yeah we've needed this especially the, for the uh, antibacterial part of it to keep the teeth clean i've then got uh the lush this was the yellow one i've used this one, but really nice and again free sample from lush <laughs> sort of thing free sample from lush <laughs> is this amazon akai energizing radiance mask <laughs> now i used to call this not that you can see anything, oh you can see it there I used to call this my jam mask because it looked like strawberry jam <laughs> so don't try and eat it because but I used this when I wanted hydration and I just put it on but I just found that my skin was nice afterwards that's why there's certain ones I buy and the other ones I'm like nah what's the point so yeah i do like this one one night i was sat here in my little bedroom and i bought myself this t-zone charcoal 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 black peel off mask i went to try it the other night sat here like right let's give it a go <laughs> but it feels like it's still got it in there but it's gone rock hard and this has never been opened never touched so it's a wasted product so I can't tell you if I'd repurchase it this is the Kiko instant perfection um, serum Kiko don't do it anymore and that is the thing they just, just they just swap and change so often yes it was a really nice serum did it do anything amazing than any other serum? No. But I don't have a problem with that. If anything, I could do something with plugging my pores. And this is supposed to be for smoothing and distressing fluid. This is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. Everybody raves about the Hyaluronic Acid. 
Oh, it's good to have it in. All your skincare's really better. I use this. Did it feel any different? No. No different than pulling on any other ones. The only difference for that was I had to use about four other things to go with it. So this was one of the other one. This is the Niacin Medeed 10% and Zinc 1%. <sighs> For me, I, I haven't really seen any any difference in anything that I put on my face. I just put it on, and if it works, I don't know. And I don't do it regular. So, <laughs> sorry guys. To disappoint all you people out there, as my dad used to say, no good with, no, no wrong with just water and soap. And it's true. It's what I used for donkey's years and yeah I've got lines, I'm aging, I've got wrinkles, I'm aging. You're not going to get rid of them unless you're going to go and have Botox fillers and things like that and I don't, I don't think my skin looks bad, I don't suffer with breakouts but again I think that's genetics. Pina colada and what you do is you undo it one way and then it just sparkles and you just rub it across and it makes all your body nice and shiny because you have to have it sit, sitting like this oh and it tastes disgusting because i'm gonna taste it in my mouth uh it's just it's not warranted and i'm never ever and it's still full I'm never going to use all of that. I've had enough of it. So it's going in the bin. And it's going straight in the bin because I'm not counting this one. Let's get on to some masks and stuff. So I have used the Mama uh, Baby Wipes. I use these for swatches, not for food. Will I repurchase them? Yes, I've just bought a box of six. This was the Apricot Deep Cleansing Self heating mask rubbish don't like it no will I repurchase it no have I got any I don't know but if I if I have got any I will probably use them and go this hasn't doesn't heat up this sweet honey 15 minutes mask this was nice this was really nice but I took it off wiped my face off but that's the thing you take it off, you rub it into your skin and then you, you like touch your face your face is a little bit sticky then you have to go and wash your face. What was the point in putting the mask on in the first place? Because then you go and put all your other... Sorry, I'm just... I'm just in one of them moods. I also add one of these which was the pineapple peel off. This didn't dry at all. It's supposed to be in 20 to 25 minutes, an hour later I'm still sat there thinking do you know in a minute I'm just gonna and then the end I washed it off, I just washed it off because I'd had enough. It peeled most of it but like cheek area. Would I buy it again? I think I've got one but I don't think I'd buy it again. This Radiance Boost Mask from Soap and Glory. This was nice. And I've got two goes out to fit this swipes in a bag because it had so much syrup on it. Syrup. Syrup. And what I did was squeeze a little bit out before we unfolded it into the bag. And then when I'd done, I folded it back properly and put it back in and sealed it in this bag. Yeah, it was beautiful. It was really, really, really nice. The next two things I've used up is the Simply Venus. And I've got two packets here and the baby needs. And then out of my Miss A, I ordered these nourishing nail masks. And I was like, yeah, these sound really nice. So you put your hands to soak. And then you have to somehow wangle these things onto your nails. Wangle these things. You have to wangle these things onto your nail. But they're ginormous, and I mean they are ginormous. In the end, I was wrapping tape around my fingers to try and hold them on. Would I have had a no? 
don't bother. You might as well just put a nice serum in a bowl or even olive oil all over your nails and let it soak in that way. But these are going to be a really quick run through because these are my project pan stuff. But I've used up the lifetime supply uh, perfume, loved it, would buy it, but it's from Fortune Cookie and I'm not paying X amount of pounds to get it. I've also used up the very irresistible Eau de Toilette from Givenchy. Again, I, I do like this. I like this a lot because I do have a lot of perfumes. But yeah, it was nice. It was sweet smelling. I like sweet smelling perfumes. So yeah, it's a good one. I finished up the number seven Essentially Natural Foundation. Now with this, I love this. I've got a backup and the only reason I put it in there is because it had been open a few years and I wanted to use it. MAC Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I would never put this on my face again. I would if somebody paid me like £1,000 to do it, I would, but apart from that, no. I've used up one of my e.l.f. under eye setting powder. I love this for setting under my eyes. It's beautiful, it's soft, It. I don't feel powdery under my eyes so for me this is a winner revitalash advance this was 40 pound this bottle because i was like do you guys look at the size of that bottle this is what i mean when i say look at the size of the bottle that's a mini two-faced and that's the revitalash didn't do anything genetically i haven't got the eyelashes and i also suffer with an underactive thyroid which also affects your hair which i didn't know till recently the two phase better than sex i've only used this a couple of times and i hate it with passion hate it it is that i wouldn't even i got it out it was the illamasqua and it's a mini primer didn't see no difference i just used it for the sake of using it this nude magic baby cream three in one is just not right there's something wrong with it i don't like it i've tried it and uh, i don't like it. this is the elf uh scrub stick and i went to use it and it's it's gone solid but i had this at the side of my bed to use whenever i needed it i obviously didn't need it as much as what i thought i do i don't obviously don't suffer with really random dry lips number seven instant radiant concealer this is lovely i do like this i've got a back up this number seven skin illuminator and natural looking radiance for a beautiful glow this did nothing nothing at all compared to the one that i used at the beginning of the year in my project pattern would buy it i've got one so once that one's gone no this is the number seven beautiful skin dark circle corrector it's not guys it really isn't i don't know what you want me to call this this is just like you can see it there you're supposed to use you this and then leave it who's gonna leave that and it, it dries down horrible and you then rub it in with your hands well it's all over your hands so there's no point doing it in the first place so would i ever buy this again no and i finished these two clinique up and the star locks these were just glosses and i'd use them for when i'd got colour pop on because with colour pop i like to have um when i've got these on that are matte or ultra satin i take a gloss out with me so when it's starting to wear away in the silly way that it does i just gloss it up and it makes it look like a lipstick so these are done and i've got two dopers and i don't know what this is but if you watch my project pam but i won't repurchase these either and then more the ones for freebies so i wouldn't i technically i've got a lot of minis so i don't need to buy more and last 
and no means the least <laughs> is the Lord Messier translation powder. I do not like this. I've said this from day dot. Still got product left in it. I'm not keeping it. I don't care how much it costs. I did a good years with this. And I can honestly say I would never advise anybody to repurchase this. This is just in a bottle. So I don't like it. That's it. So guys, that is the end. That is the end of my empties. And hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Tap the bell if you're new. If I could have some positivity sent my way, then... I would really appreciate it i really would just just a little love just a little love tap on that little like button that's all it's got to be hopefully you guys will so i'll see you guys in my next video bye